Hey everybody, Coach Rob here. I'm gonna talk about something that happens a lot with power lifters, a lot of people when you're squatting two, three times a week. It's called squatter's elbow, okay? When you're squatting, you're gonna get a lot of tension from creating torque, pulling on the bar a lot. Your elbows are gonna give you a lot of grief. It's happened to me as well. It kills, it's, it's horrible, all right? You wanna keep squatting, obviously squat, taking time off is probably not an option, especially if you're competing, so you need to find workarounds. So a couple things you need to do. One, get your upper body more mobile, shoulders and upper back, great thing for that. Simple band where you would do shoulder dislocates. Okay? Try to get your upper back moving, your shoulders moving. Second thing you want to do is increase flexibility, mobility in your arm and your shoulder. Biceps are going to get tight a lot from creating tension. So you want to stretch them. Okay, my biceps are both really tight. So you want to stretch up under, pushing across here. Okay? Not much fun. Second thing, third thing you want to do is foam roll your triceps, all right? This one has really helped me a lot. It's not much fun, very painful, but really good. Just take a regular bar, get in tight, extend your arm, roll, up, roll, and just constantly be working different angles of the tricep and do that. Next thing you want to do is find a good healthcare professional and get some ART and massage done. There's nothing better than active release technique for getting scar tissue broken up, getting your arms moving. I had three sessions of ART done. My arm was like this to almost fully straight just from ART, so definitely do that. Next thing you want to do is make BioFreeze your friend, okay? Buy some deep cold, buy some BioFreeze, use that as well, regular ice after you train. So if you're having issues with squatter's elbow, it's giving you a lot of grief, give those options a try and see if they help. Cheers.